what do you think about our future experiences on the Camino now that you've done one or four? Well, truly, it, it will be so challenging for the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> you think the accommodation tonight is challenging? Wait till you get on the Camino. <laughs> it's only challenging for you. <laughs> so, boy, what do you think of the ride today? Oh, it's a lot flatter. And? Oh, it's a lot easier on the bum. And the legs. So, Alice? Yeah, now that it's it towards the end of the, the Camino, what do you think is of the, the past couple of weeks? Um, I think uh, it's been fantastic. It's been uh, challenging, it's been rewarding, it's been great doing with a great bunch of people. Um, it's really pushed me, I think, to really give it 110%. Um, I would say it's the most challenging thing I've done. Really? And yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. um, you know, and um, I've just enjoyed every moment of it. What's one moment you haven't enjoyed? I haven't. Even trying to um, apply the brakes, and well, although your fingers are that cold, you haven't been able to? Not You've enjoyed that as well. Enjoyed the lot. Oh, okay. When I fell off, <laughs> <laughs> even all the bruises, it's all part of the journey. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so I've just enjoyed everything, and yeah. I've been very blessed, I think, to do it with a great bunch of people. I have to say thank you for inviting me, um, yeah. and it's been great. But now it's the only done ever. Yeah. Yeah, real, real challenge. I really didn't think it would be as hard as it was. Especially the first half. No, the first well, half. no, it was, yeah, it was pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> but they I, say childbirth is pretty that, hard. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it <laughs> goes away after. after. It really good. I've loved all the lanes and all the places we went in. Even those, you know, those mountains and like the hot, even just... If there was a moment so that you could hard. pick, that like uh, it, it doesn't have to be good, but it was just uh, something appealing to towards this whole journey. Well, we, we, could I you pick one? The best thing like yesterday, and everybody wanted past and said, "Oh, you're right, Jules. How are you going?" And, like that was probably yeah. for me the best part of the whole thing because it was like, uh -huh. yeah, everybody was sort of in. okay. Well, yeah, you're doing it tough, but mm -hmm. what about you, here. Pete? So far, tough. 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 We knew the mountains would be tough, but tougher than expected. The running's tougher than expected. Uh, and then we left San, left San Tantor and we got to that quirky little albergo yeah. with the two guys running it, building the 14th <coughs> century. And I thought, yeah, I think we've turned the corner. Yeah. We didn't know what was ahead of us, but I think we've turned the corner and that was just... <laughs> Something to look forward to and a great relief, and and from then it's just got better and better after that first week. So that was a turning point for me, and uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you, Kathy, so much for your ability with uh, Google Maps and and, and Roz, yeah, for you know, because all I could do was keep on the highway. It would probably get you there, but but it'd just be on the highway. Whereas Kathy can just take us on these deviations. Made it wonderful. Beautiful. Yeah. And the yeah, best thing we liked about the whole thing was pushing my bike up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they said it would be fun. And it was in a rather strange, challenging, painful way. It was a lot harder than. Come on! The tracks were a lot harder than I expected. I did expect hills. And once I think we got sorted out a little combination of roads and a bit of track every now and a bit of bush every now and then, it was fantastic. I loved going through the villages. They still, you know, the farm is still operating like they did hundreds of years ago. And coffee was a little hard to find at times, but we got used to that. We even got used in the end, in our visit to Spain, to eating at 10 o'clock at night. Great experience, the countryside was beautiful, the people, the drivers were fantastic. They just let bikes have their, you know, right of way all the time, brilliant. Okay, I enjoyed it, 
camaraderie was fun, the nights were fun, the dinners were fun, and I'm a lot stronger bike rider as a result. My memory of the, the whole trip was that uh, it was a different experience for everybody. It was uh, very hard in some sections, easier in other sections. You look back at it now and uh, it was certainly an enjoyable element to the, the whole lot with uh, doing something like that with, with nine of us. Um, yeah, some of the countryside and the people we met, they were all uh, memories that certainly have for a long time, but uh, I just remember the improvement and, and the confidence that some riders gained uh, on, on, on the trip that uh, perhaps they didn't have at the start, so I think that was all a uh, positive spin on it. And uh, no, it's just something that I'll, I'll uh, remember forever and uh, how everybody sort of worked together to get us to where we, we wanted to finish up and uh, we all did it in, in good health and uh, good spirits, so very enjoyable. So boy, spent a couple of weeks watching the circumference of your tire, front tire go past, <laughs> up, up and, and down. And a lot of extra will go under them. Yeah. But th there certainly must have been some moment in time where you said, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. <laughs> no, there, there, was, there was many times, a lot yeah. of those pushing the bikes up hill yeah. and dragging them thinking, why do people do this? Yeah. I, I still don't know why. So, what made you go that extra yardage? Well, it was too hard to go home. <laughs> <laughs> but have to still go. Still getting the yeah, yeah, the bikes. Still getting there with the bikes and getting a bag and all that sort of stuff. So. Okay. Good one. Yeah.